Hey guys, what's up? Lord Mitri again here, your Lord of Video Games, and welcome to another episode of Persona 5 Royal. In the last episode, we went to Maruki's palace and rejected his offer for this reality. Because, in my opinion, this is not reality. It's just fake, obviously. So, why would you live in a fake just to be happy? Like... I don't know, I'm, but I'm glad my friend saw through it. So, yeah, all that we have to do now is, I guess, go to bed. Can't go anywhere else, so let's do that. Mm. Make everyone happy, huh? But even so, anyway, let's think about it tomorrow. Let's sleep. Let's sleep on it. Oh, are we going into the velvet room? Again? It's been a while. I'm shackled up. It's been quite some time. Hey, Lavenza. I'm in a cell. We have finally succeeded in reaching you. These clothes. You have been imprisoned once more. This time not by the god of control, but a different entity, one who's bound you through your future. Huh? However, you held fast to your free will and believed in your bonds, allowing your friends to regain their own realities. Yeah. You are on the verge of grasping a potential reality once more. Mm hmm? Our meeting again now within this place is proof enough. It seems the time has come. For? Wait. For we what? We are merely beings who provide aid to humans as they carry out their will. You must be the one to determine the path and actions to take. If the will of rebellion still thrives within you, then we will surely meet again. Oh, it is. It does. I'm rebelling against this fake reality. Vince had told you that? Mm hmm You ought to tell everyone else that too. Let's all meet up after school. All right. Uh, uh, oh! Oh, hey there! How's it going, Samire? I love the look, honestly. Good morning. Good morning, Samire. <sighs> I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry. I can't believe what I tried to do to you two. It's okay. I genuinely cannot apologize enough for what happened. Oh, come on. There's no need for that. More importantly, how have you been? Mm -hmm. Physically, I'm fine. But mentally, <sighs> to be entirely honest, I'm all mixed up. I don't blame you. Are you okay, though? My memories are still pretty fuzzy and... I haven't really processed everything yet. Yeah, it's a lot to process as well. I'm going to need a little time to myself to think things through. I have to figure out what to do with myself from here on. Mm hmm I believe in you, though. You got this. I believe in you, girl. My shoulder. It's fine. What do you ask, coach? May I take extra classes as well? I want to study more. The class is so awesome. There's no bullying or anything like that here. Not bad. Had a club today after school. You guys can go home without me. Huh? Club? I thought he was in the go home club. <laughs> oh, so there are still people that stuck in this reality, huh? Time's up. Happy New Year, everyone. You all did your homework, right? This year's going to be all about your college entrance, Sam, so you better start preparing now. Oh, and if you cause any trouble, that'll show up on your transcript, so make sure you behave yourselves, okay? Now, it's time to turn into that homework. Let's see, I was on class duty today. Man. Have you been studying? Well, not that you really had time for that. Obviously.
Mm. So, is everyone rested up? More or less. My mind was racing so much that I passed out before I even realized it. Same here. I think I've sorted through my own thoughts, but I'd still like to hear everyone else's take. Let's meet up at the hideout. Sure thing. I'll come to the hideout right after school then. Gotcha. Cool. I'll be waiting for y'all. Hey. We definitely need to update everyone about Lady Labenza. And cook up our plans from here on out too. We really do. So that's the gist of it. We have to choose our own path, eh? Mm-hmm. The Ketchi had mentioned that we needed to determine what we'll do from here on out. It seems he was right. We can accept this reality, but that means we'll have to fight Dr. Maruki, right? Yeah. That's right. We have to confront Maruki and steal his desire. In a way, it's business as usual for us. Dr. Maruki is an adult with a warped desire, but... That desire is just a wish for us all to be happy, right? Yeah. I admit, it's nothing similar to the desires we've seen in the likes of Shido and Kamoshida. Mm -hmm. The Phantom Thieves only change the hearts of evildoers. Dr. Maruki is quite different from our past targets. <sighs> well, I think we already know what we gotta do. Haru's right. Dr. Maruki ain't a shitty adult at all. Yeah. There are probably plenty of folks out there living all happy in this reality. Who knows? Maybe Dr. Maruki is actually doing the right thing. Hmm. But we all still feel like this reality is wrong, right? Yeah. We decide what's right for ourselves. That's what we all agreed on when we went after him in the palace. If changing Doc's heart fixes our reality, then I'm gonna do it. Uh, so somebody say something? <laughs> uh, sorry, I, I was just thinking about how right you are, Ryuchi. Honestly, yeah. So we're going to change our target's heart not to reform society, but to acquire the reality we believe in. Mm -hmm. That doesn't sound bad at all. Then it's unanimous. Hey. Well, that means our next step is pretty clear. Next target is set. Check out that palace. Right. Maruki said that he'd be willing to fight if we are too. It's safe to assume he's expecting us to infiltrate his palace. He is. That reminds me. You know that, uh, uh reality bending stuff? Yeah. Why is Doc able to do that anyway? Because of study on cognitive science, right? I've been wondering the same thing. Even if he was the top cognitive science expert, that wouldn't be enough for him to do all of this. Mm. If we're going to fight Maruki, we'd better dig up some more intel on him first. Yeah. Is that a catchy? Good day. Lavenza! This is Lavenza speaking. Hello. Lavenza? Are you huh? calling? Your will of rebellion has reached new heights. We would like to aid that will, if you find it agreeable. That'd be very helpful, please. Wait, how is she even calling you? Don't question it, Ryuji. <laughs> and how'd she know how high our wills are? <gasps> Did she tap your line or something? Calm down, Futaba. Her timing was just too perfect. Maybe she actually did. Stop, both of you. I have performed no form of electronic surveillance whatsoever. <laughs> Apparently, she can hear you. Yep. There's something I wish to tell you regarding your current situation. All right. However, I'm reaching the limit of my communication ability with this method. Let us meet in person tomorrow. Okay. Where? Velvet room? It would be best for me to select a location considered easy to reach by all parties. All well, parties? Therefore, let us convene at your school. Huh? Shujin? Wait, she'll be at the school? Lavenza will? In that case, I'll see you tomorrow. What? How? She hung up. Is she really gonna go to our school? Just walk through the front gates like nothing? 
I'm not sure what to make of it. Me neither. But since we've determined our goal and Lavensis offered to help us, I'd call that progress of some sort. Mm hmm. All we have left is whatever we discuss tomorrow at school, plus whether or not we're going to team up with Akechi. Oh, yeah. Considering what he told us, really does seem like we share an end goal with Akechi, but. Yeah, the whole betrayal stuff. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm still simping hard for Akechi, but. <laughs> but the betrayal still kind of stinks. But he did the right thing to well, turn himself in. I think we ought to team up. Futaba? Mm -hmm. Me too. That's coming from Futaba and Haru, so. Are you sure? Dr. Maruki's strong enough to change reality itself. If we're gonna fight him, we're gonna need Akechi's help. Yeah. Plus, if he does betray us again, we'll just take him out too. <laughs> <laughs> Guess that settles that. Let's all meet at Shujin tomorrow. I'll take care of figuring out how to get Yusuke and Futaba in the school. Okay. I appreciate the effort. Thank you. All right. Let's head home for now. Let's chillax and wait for tomorrow. I'm curious how Lavenza is going to pop into the school. So, do you think Lavenza will make it to the school? I hope she doesn't get lost or anything. Yeah. Does she think it's a bad idea her wandering around in that getup? <laughs> That's true. Hopefully no one gives her a hard time. If someone does, you better come up with a good excuse for her, Michiru. Magana's on top of it. For real? What? No, I'm not! How am I supposed to pull something like that off? I'm joking. Kenny helping out a little kid. Sounds like a one dynamite duo. What could last three seasons... What could last three seasons and a movie? Easy. It's not exactly helpful to us right now, though. At any rate, I'm certain she would reach out to us if something were to go awry. Awry. That's true. We can put our faith in Lavenza. Agreed. Let us know if, there's, if anything changes, Michiru. Good night, everyone. Yeah. Why would Lady Lavenza want to meet up at the school? It's not like she just wants to check out the place, right? Who knows? Alright, let's play some games. Hey, hold on! You won't get enough sleep! Let's not do that today. Okay, never mind. No sleep today. I mean, no games today. We go sleep. <coughs> you want to take a break for today? I want to think on it a bit more. Alright, let's go. Let's sleep. That's fine. Hey! What's up? Sorry, it's nothing. Come on, what's up? No. I was just rem remembering what happened that night. You remember, right? The night before we went into mementos to erase it. Before we deal with Shido. Remember how I said I'd finally found the place I belong? Even though I said that and really believed it, I still fell into Maruki's hands. I, I made it obvious how much I want to be a human. More than once, I thought it would give me a chance with Lady On, but... What I did was just so lame. I can't believe I was off having a blast while you were busy trying to help us. You came back. That's what matters. No, yeah, that's true. But I mean, that was just the right thing to do. Yeah. Now that I think about it, you've been helping me from the very beginning. Well, hell, I was locked up in a prison when we first met. I'm nowhere near cool. You're already super cool. Quit buttering me up! <laughs> you don't have to tell me twice, so... I'm going to be a super... Be super cool from here on out! Listen up! You know what? I'm gonna make you a promise right now! 
from here on, I'm going to be more independent. I just keep, kept, I just kept relying on you for everything because deep down, I thought you could figure everything out for me. But that's all changing. I'm going to stand proud on my own t four feet. Almost said two. And I'm going to be the one to protect you. I promise I will. I'm glad. What? Why the close up? But we already awakened. Huh? Are they fusing? Oh, what? They did fuse. I've discovered a new. No. My original power. All right. Morgana's persona Mercurius has transformed into Diego. Oh my god. Okay. All right. Time to serve Maruki his just desserts. Anyone who tries to pull one over on us like that is asking for it. Let's do our best. Right. Sorry again for all the hassle. You and I are gonna be even greater partners now. Let's turn in for the Well, night. things are going to get hectic. Sorry, tomorrow. Let's go on right. Right. Majestic presence. All skill shots are currently full. Please select a skill to forget. Oh. Uh. Let's do this because why? Oh, so it just learns one more skill. Okay. Awakening the Phantom. <coughs> Cannot take a screenshot now. Okay. I'm not I'm not even going to. Ahem. New Year is starting. You look sleepy. What did you doze through the new year? Well should Shigatsu one big excuse to laze around? Good grief. Shigatsu not supposed to be an excuse to relax, you know? We decorate with Kodamatsu, Kagami, Mochi, and Shimenawa in order to welcome Toshigami to deities. It's one of the oldest traditions in Japan. By the way, cherry blossoms viewing and even Children's Day are meant to commemorate deities and spirits. Japan's got a lot of gods, so naturally there ended up being a lot of events and rituals to accommodate them all. Here's a phrase referring to all the Shinto gods as a collective. Anyone know it offhand? What is the answer? Alright, Takamaki-san. I'll bet you slept through Shogatsu. Uh, 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 yeah, I'm, I mean... Hey, wait! Hey, Lady Anasabi's panicking. Be a good guy, help her out. Okay. Seriously? I'm so unlucky. I didn't even sleep through, through Shogatsu. Michi, are you awake? Can you give me a hint? Some kind of phrase about the gods, but it's kind of abstract, right? What's this phrase supposed to illustrate about the gods of Shinto? Hmm, I think it's uh, how numerous they are. Yeah, I think that's right. They use a specific number, right? Mm -hmm. What's the phrase again? The one about how many gods there are in Shinto? Oh my god. Uh, uh, what was it? Was it Eight million? God. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's right. Yeah, I think that's it. Please be great. Right. So people call the gods of Shinto the eight million gods. This is it. Pretty sure. Correct. That's correct. No way. We call the Yoyu, Yayorozu, Yayorozu no Kami, the or the eight million gods. Through that number, though that number is not meant to be taken literally, Yayorozu is essentially a shorthand for immediate gods, an unaccountable number. In olden days, the Japanese believed that gods dwelled in everything. What of all these traditions, you could say they... These beliefs still affect our lives today. It's a wonderful thing, really. We really need to cherish our history. Nice going. 
Nice! Lady Anne seems really relieved. Good. Perfect. You're pretty good at studying. I'm impressed. You're welcome. Praise me more, though. Praise me. You've been awfully busy lately. Don't forget to eat lunch. As for myself, be sure to order some jelly-filled bread and... Hmm? That's the Lavenza. That's... Let's follow. Yeah, let's go. Please, no one just kill the butterfly. Hey! Stay so down so you don't lose sight of it. That's going down. Oh! Hey, you see that? He went to the first floor. All right. Nowhere to, Lavenza. <sighs> Where on earth is it trying to go? Come on, we gotta follow for now. Yep, I'm going. Wasn't that Dr. Maruki's office? For real? The nurse's office? What's going on here? It's just like my dream. He even showed up in your dreams? That's strange. Well, never mind that. There's no point in thinking about that right now. Let's get inside the nurse's office, quickly. Pretty sure that is Lavenza. Right? Yep. Lady Lavenza. Hello. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. I see. Exchanging common expressions upon meeting like humans do. It has a rather pleasant feeling, but that is irrelevant. <laughs> Let's turn to the matter at hand. Oh, we need everyone to be As here. As I told you yesterday, there's something I wish to tell you. But first, please gather your other friends here. Will do. Here? You want to meet in the nurse's office? This place is filled with the cognition of bed rest. Maintaining my existence in a reality controlled by someone like Maruki is no simple feat. Mm. But the exhaustion that it induces is limited by this place's cognition, so I may converse with you all in person here. So is this like a safe room, per se? I see. <laughs> Let us continue this conversation once everyone involved has convened. Until that time, I will provide my eyes a much needed rest. <laughs> you do that. Rest? Uh, Lady Lavenza? <laughs> <sighs> oh. oh. I guess we should get everyone in here. Yep. Yeah. Let's do that. Infiltration success. <laughs> P uniforms. I'm rather surprised no one took notice of us. Considering how I don't have an adequate excuse for the school to approve your being here, we are lucky it went as well as it did. Mm hmm. As long as you maintain an air of confidence, you can fool just about anybody into thinking you belong. And the catchy. I must say, though, I hadn't expected you to actually reach out to me for something like this. Huh, even we have a catchy here. Okay. Well, it's just as we said before. We've accepted your offer to work together. Now's not the time to let personal stuff get in the way of our goal. But if you ever betray us again, we'll make sure you regret it. <laughs> All right, then. That's no concern of mine anyway. Remember what I told you all before? Yes. We share a mutual interest. Until Maruki is defeated, we have a deal to uphold. And after that? It appears that everyone's arrived. Hey, Lavenza. Good morning. <laughs> Does this mean you're ready to begin? Yes. Uh, ain't that our line? Care to fill us in? Yes. I wished to speak with you about the circumstances that led this Maruki to alter reality as you know it. 
Okay. As well as the true nature of his power. You know all of that? I admit there will be a degree of speculation involved, but only to a small extent. Okay. First, I will explain the situation with the current reality. I believe that Maruki has altered the cognition of the masses. In other words, it's thought that the alterations he's made are the result of his meddling with mementos. What? He changed mementos? How is that even possible? Isn't it Kondo? Wait, don't forget about our experience with the Metanav in Maruki's palace. Seems like this kind of thing has a habit of sticking around despite our expectations. Hmm. Mementos is the cognition of the masses given form. If that man is truly capable of controlling individuals' cognitions, and that man were also to gain access to mementos, it would be no surprise that he could impact everyone's cognitions and affect reality itself. Hmm. Uh, could he really have done all that? Well, apparently. I mean, it's assumed that Dr. Maruki has the power to control cognition, right? Exactly. That man's controlling of cognition... Let's see. Why don't we refer to his power as actualization? Actualization? Most likely, that actualization is a power unique to a persona. Oh. In other words, this man named Maruki is... A persona user? He's a persona user? That's impossible. What? There's no way to have a persona and a palace at the same time. Determining when Maruki first awakened to his power is wholly impossible. However, by the time he crossed your paths... He was already a persona user. There's no doubt that he was making use of his actualization. Although he may have only been doing so subconsciously. With the meetings? Even if it is just his subconscious, he's using a persona in the real world. So his ability to make Yoshisawa-san think she was Kasumi-chan? It was most likely through the use of actualization. Still though, even if we assume that Maruki has unique persona abilities, such as the case with him and myself, we still need to determine how he used that power on Mementos as a whole, rather than a single individual. Mm -hmm. Right. Even if there were some kind of power that could affect Mementos, it's on a whole other level from what we've seen so far. A single person just shouldn't be capable of all that. Yeah, I agree with that, but... It's true. Changing reality just by thinking about it isn't something humans do. It's something that, like gods do and what if he became such a god how what the god of control huh indeed the being in mementos that you all defeated was a false deity that the masses deludedly clung to mm -hmm. it is easy to conclude that maruki simply took over the false god's position when it disappeared what took over his position what do you mean? So you're saying society thinks of Doc as a god now or something? Now, the Phantom Thieves are the ones who gained the masses' support after defeating this so-called god of control. Yeah? So it would follow that the masses would turn to the Phantom Thieves next as their savior. In that case, why did they instead turn to Maruki, who did none of the work the Phantom Thieves did? Mm-hmm. Masses were invested in the Phantom Thieves, not Maruki. Wait, you what? What, what? what do you mean? We, we never wish for anything, anything like, 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 like this. The counseling sessions, Is that right? Really true. True, true. It's most likely because we chose Maruki. What? After we defeated the God of Control, we wished for reality to be like Dr. Maruki described it. And it happened? Uh, I don't remember doing any wishing with you guys and Doc. I mean, <laughs> when would we have even had the chance to? With the counseling sessions, right? <sighs> what about our counseling? 
can't change the past, but you still want to keep your chin up and press onward. Is that the gist of it? Yeah, that sounds about right. I mean, it'd definitely be better if none of this had happened at all, but... Well, no matter what path you might have to take to get there, Hypertrack Dreams will still do you some good in the end. <laughs> thanks. Looks like you all walked right into the spider's parlor. Yep. There's no way of knowing how many of those situations were intentionally orchestrated by that man. However, the result is still the same. A desire for his actualization was seeded within your hearts. I see. Thus, I have no doubt that it was your own desires that led to their actualization. So this is all our fault, huh? Yep. We're the ones who told him the cognitive world really exists, too. Let's put an end to this. Right, let's fight. If this is our own fault, we've got to be the ones to fix it. Mm hmm Yes. This realization changes none of what we must do. Very well. Then allow me to proceed. This world is in a very unstable condition currently. On the day that the God of Control fused mementos with the real world, the merging was undone through your efforts, and the two worlds are now attempting to return to their initial states. Uh -huh. So, what you're saying is this world has reverted to a state where the fusion with mementos hasn't been totally undone. Oh. That explains why Maruki's palace was visible in Odaiba. Even as we speak, Maruki is still influencing this world in places where its boundaries are blurred. As slow a pace as it may be, he still continues to actualize the world of the masses as a whole. Should this continue, reality shall merge with mementos once more. The two worlds will again become one. When that happens, Anyone trapped within the actualized world can never again awaken to the original one. Oh. No. This issue goes beyond the masses as well. Although you are all Persona users, it would be next to impossible to defy Maruki in a world completely under his control. Hmm. To be clear, once the two worlds conclude their fusion, there will be no chance of your success in this mission. Is that why February 2nd? And I believe this fusion will conclude in one month's time. We only have a month. If memory serves me correctly, February 3rd was the date Dr. Maruki gave us, oh, right? The 3rd. Could he have possibly chosen the time limit based on when his actualization will be completed? It's possible. If that's the case, we don't got another choice except to steal his treasure by then. Mm -hmm. We'll need to secure our route to the treasure by the second so we can send our calling card. Then, on the day of, we're most likely going to have to fight Maruki. <sighs> Allow me to produce the calling card. This is certain to be our final card. I'll pour my heart and soul into its creation. Thank you, Skip. Be that as it may, there are still some unsolved questions. In the meadow now. Right. What's the deal with the palace's name? It doesn't seem to affect the app's functions, but... That must also be a product of Maruki's cognition. Hmm? He most likely learned that you could somehow infiltrate the metaverse. As long as he permits your existence, your method of infiltration will not entirely disappear either. However, in his heart, he must have feared you would learn his identity as the palace's ruler. Perhaps such a feeling took the form of hiding the ruler's name from you. Oh. But in that case, why didn't Dr. Maruki just actualize us out of existence entirely? Because he doesn't... <laughs> because he wants to save us. Maruki told us he wants us to accept his world. Mm -hmm. It may be hard to believe. But since we mutually benefit from his actualization, maybe he really does want us to submit. Sorry, even if it does fix shit for us, I, I just can't accept the world getting treated like that. Mm -hmm. 
Let's start the infiltration tomorrow, yeah? Yeah. And you? Sound good? You're willing to ask me as well. Of course. Duh, dude. The fan thieves don't act unless it's a unanimous vote. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, then. You know I have no intention of accepting Maruki's world anyway. Then that settles that. <laughs> Wait. What about Yoshizawa-san? Oh. We may not have summoned her as one of the Phantom Thieves. This definitely involves her as well. It does. It really does. Maybe we should fill her in on our situation once she comes to terms with her own. Hmm. What she does with that information, though, that's up to her. Yeah. Right. If that concludes matters, I shall continue to watch over you, Trickster. Thank Please you, Lavenza. Please show me the path that you choose for humanity. You'll see it firsthand. And she's off. There was someone by the door. I saw red by the door. <gasps> Sumire. I just... not easy guess we might as well close up for the night hey once you're done washing that you can go ahead and call it a welcome Samiri um, Yoshizawa what's up have a seat she's here to see you right now don't worry about finishing up I'll take care of it later thank you coffee dad Sorry for coming over so late. Don't apologize. You're fine. And thank you for the coffee. How is it? It's delicious. Thank you. Mm. What's wrong? Would you mind if I got something off my chest? Of course. Please feel free. Thank you. So, to tell the truth, I saw you all go into the nurse's office today, and, um, I sort of eavesdropped on your conversation. Oh. <laughs> Pop Maruki. You've all found the paths you want to take, and are following them with such confidence, whereas I'm simply... Like Dr. Maruki said before, I ran from the truth. I couldn't handle the fact that Kasumi died because of my actions. My memories are still a bit hazy, but even when I remembered that I'm really Sumire, I didn't want to accept it. I was still running from reality, where Kasumi is gone, where I had to live for Kasumi instead of as her. Do you still want to run? No. Good. Like I said earlier, I realized something when I saw you all striving to push onward. I can't keep running like this. But now that Kasumi's gone, I have no idea what to do with myself. Senpai, what should I do? You have to decide, not me. You can be awfully firm sometimes, Senpai. <laughs> it's my job. But you're absolutely correct. I must thank you for allowing me to unload all of this onto you. Hey, it's no problem. I'm still not completely sure what I should do, but I plan to think more on it. Take your time. I've got to figure out what to do with my life now. Hmm. Have a great night, Sumire. Tomorrow we're going to the palace. We're gonna take back the world. The real world. Yes, we will. Rewriting reality. I would never have thought such a thing possible. Not only that, but this palace is ruled by a Persona user. How does that make any sense? I know god matting when I see it. At this point, he basically is a god, right? This should make Shido look small time. We need to come up with a plan. 
That's a good point. We should meet up tomorrow. Sounds good. Speaking of which, how should we contact Akechi-kun? Guess we should let him back into the group chat, right? Yep, that'd be the quickest. Alright, let's put him in. Alright, I'll take care of it. Thanks! Mm. One month to go, huh? Well, you better come up with a plan. That time is gonna go by fast. Thieves Den updated. Alright! And with that, I'm gonna end this episode here. We have quite a bit of information, and in the next episode, you're probably gonna start infiltrating Maruki's palace. So, if you guys are enjoying these videos as much as I am, please leave a like, comment, and share. That always helps out against that pesky YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to join the Moonlight Army today. Hit that bell icon to be notified when I upload a new video. If you guys want to stalk me on my social medias, the links will be in the description box below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. So, take care guys, bye bye.